Hey, what's up everybody? I am driving to work and you know what? Game of Thrones is last night and I just want to talk about it. So now I am doing a driving to work video. And you know, I'm just gonna, I'm on the, the 118 heading towards Simi Valley right now. And it's 8.45 in the morning and it's gonna be a photo finish, but all right. Game of Thrones, you know what, I'm a fan. Season seven, game, or episode five just got done. All right, just watched it. And I think that, I love the show, but I think it has officially jumped the shark. Um, jump the shark meeting, it's just, when the show just gets dumb, and the stories just don't matter, and it's, go, it, it's, uh, jump the shark refers to a show back in the day, when in the show they actually jumped over a shark, and ever since then the show sucks. And Game of Thrones did the things that they're known not to do, which is just terrible writing. So first of all, first scene, at the end of episode four, J.B. Lannister is going after Daenerys, and the dragon turns around, gonna shoot a flame, and Bronn saves Jamie at the last second, and then it cuts when they fall into the river. And you know, it was a pretty good cliffhanger, although we knew he wasn't gonna die. And then the first episode of the new, or the first scene of the new episode, they're down river and just talking on the beach. What would, what, what is it, did his armor, did he float down, or did Bronn swim with him in, in that super not very deep river that long? It was such, it was such a lazy display of, of wrapping this, these storylines up fast. And there, it, it's just so many reasons why that was stupid. One, why didn't Daenerys, who saw she was getting attacked, say, hey, somebody go get him. That's the king. Um, you know what? The, the, the dragon could have just, could have just with his, with his wing scooped him out. Or one of the thousands of soldiers could have like, it was just stupid. He would have never gotten away. And it was just like, oh, they finally got away. Oh, and then, like, if you look in the distance, you can see, like, stuff burning. And it was just stupid. And then the next scene, why, did, how does anybody benefit when the Tully, when Tully and then Tully's son get burned alive by the dragon? Who benefits? That was just so stupid. It was like, oh, let's just kill them off because they're proud people. And what were they thinking? Oh, well, oh yeah, I'm, a, I'm such a, I'm such an honorable guy that I'm just gonna get burned alive, fighting for Cersei Lannister. It just made no sense at all. He already betrayed his people a little bit. What's two times? And then the sun went in. It, it was just stupid. We're like, oh, okay, well, Daenerys. She's like, you know, she's kind of like her, 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 her dad in, in, in being a crazy mad king. You know what? It's it's just too obvious. Um. And then, and then Jamie goes back, and Cersei, like, kind of, like, says I'm pregnant, but who knows, maybe not. And then says, don't betray me, but it wasn't like, it wasn't like she betrayed him. He, he betrayed her because she knew that Bronn set it up. So, so, literally, Jamie did not know what was happening. I mean, I guess by not betraying her, he would have killed him, but whatever. It's stupid. And then we get into the dumbest part of the whole entire episode, and this is by far the dumbest Thing that Game of Thrones have, has done so far. And we're talking like hundreds of hours worth of, of good writing, so I'm not going to blame them that much, but they are going, Jon Snow is going to go to the north to bring back a wild, or to bring back a Nightwalker to then show Cersei Lannister and presumably the rest of Westeros. He's going to go up and bring back how that is so dumb, it just puts him back at the wall, yet, and somehow he just teleports up there instantly, everybody's teleporting these days, like, these boat rides take instantly, Tyrion's down in, 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 uh, King's Bay, or, uh, I don't know, whatever the city's called, and, you know, just gonna go see his brother, gonna go pop in for a meeting, uh, everyone's popping in, it's just, and then he goes up there, and what is it, he, now, and it's such a contrived group that's up there with, with the Hound, and then the Stark, and then, and then Gendry with an axe, which is cool. But it's just like, oh, it's just, it's just like, can you jerk me off any harder? And then the the Sam Tully and, and then the Gilly giving away that, that actually Rhaegar Tar Targaryen had an, had an annulment and married Lyanna. Which, you know what, if Lyanna and Rhaegar are the people that everyone says they are, that kind of makes sense to me. 
I, it wasn't that big of a deal. They had her reveal it. They just kind of, it was just so lame. And and then even the Sansa stuff up in Winterfell. You know what, Arya? You're a badass. Get off your high horse. I'd like to see you, see you be a, a run a kingdom. You know, and then you just got baited by by Littlefinger, although maybe you know that you got baited, you purposely baited yourself, which would be pretty good. But we all know Bran's gonna bail you out on this one. Uh, so yeah, I don't know, you go on the internet, everybody loves every episode no matter what, and this one was stupid, and no one's talking about how stupid it was. Like, it's fun to see everybody, and the dragon looked cool, and it's fun to see everybody, but it's just, it, this episode, that was just bad writing. And I knew that we were screwed when Jamie just, just showed up half a mile down river. No one's looking for him. Uh, it, it just made, no, it was just the laziest way they could have done that. And, and, if, and if they're going to take something kind of big like that, a cliffhanger, and then and then have the payoff be that lazy, you know what you're in for for the rest of the episode. And you know what? I really hope that the rest of the season isn't like this, but they have so much to cover so quickly that maybe they have to. And... And how about we just don't worry about the Sansa Arya sister dynamics up in the north? How about we just forget about that? And then we can focus on something else. I don't know, there's too much. There's too much and they gotta wrap it up. Alright, well anyway, I'm, I'm, now I'm still on the 118. And you know what? I think I'm gonna be on time. There's no traffic. Oh, there's a dog. There's a dog. Hey, Ludwig. Say hi to everybody. You know, you can come to work with me. What's up, buddy? I'm talking to, uh... Myself. Is that cool? You think that's cool? You've been listening to, listening to Game of Thrones? Alright, alright. Gotta get my hands back on the wheel. Uh, technically, right now, I have both hands on the wheel. So, uh, yeah. But there are so many cops around here. So, I'm not gonna go above 80. I'm gonna keep it at 77. No one ever gets a ticket for going 77. Now look at the, look at the smiley face in, in CB Valley. It's on the hill to the right. Maybe you can't see it. I'm just driving to work. So yeah, I, think, I mean, I mean, I'm still gonna watch the show, but after, after having such a great see, uh, episode four, and you know that battle with the dragon that was sweet. Um, the the interaction with Jon Snow and the dragon was was outstanding. That that scene was excellent. And how about we just have that and we don't need the girl reading out of the book the, and, and giving Sam the like a, another piece of information on the map to help him solve that. How about just the dragon? That's all we needed. I mean, we already kind of know. Just give us that dragon scene and then something else happening and Sam leaving the, the library. It, it was just... And then he didn't even listen to her, which is, which is just kind of funny because the whole... He's never not listened to anybody. He always listens. And the one time she actually says something interesting, he's not listening. <sighs> and was there anything else that happened? Um, oh, just a stupid ass. Let's go, get a, let's go get a White Walker and bring him down. Why would Jon Snow, the kid, why would he put himself at that risk? Why would all those people do that? And you know what, I like Mormont going you know, the guy, he's a, he, this, he's, he's got to do something badass. So I like him going, but they, they bring this one blacksmith, Robert Baratheon's son. They, they have not mentioned him in seasons, yet everyone thinks that we're supposed to know who he is exactly, like immediately. And, you know, I hope that he knows how to swing that axe. But out of that group that's going north, somebody's dying. And, you know, they're probably going to be lazy and have Jon Snow die again. Because in that way, nobody else has to die. They have all the characters. And then they're just going to bring him back. But if Jon Snow dies this season, I'm done. I'm done. But yeah, it's just it's just stupid, stupid decision, decisions from, from Dragon Mom. Every episode this season. Except for the first one, where she walked to the table and said, um, Shall we begin making terrible decisions? Uh, what a great cliffhanger that was for her to do nothing. You know, I'm just not impressed with her anymore. Uh, but, but, you know, I'm, I am excited about seeing next week's episode. Just because it's fun, you know? It's fun. Alright, well, now I'm at 10 minutes. So I'm driving to work. I'm like 15 minutes away. Alright, thanks for listening. And, uh, you know, if you think 
Game of Thrones jump the shark, jump the shark too? Let me know.